at least it reminds me of names. So everyone's asking me names, I can remember because my memory is so bad. Uh, so I just want, while we're standing here in the midst of this, this is kind of the central part of this whole Menden uh, community that was part of the, the Saints. I wanted to read you some of the names so you understood the families that were part of this whole place. This, of course, is the Young Farm and John Young's house, and so this is kind of the center for the Youngs. But um, one of the Youngs, one of John's daughters, was Rhoda Young. She married uh, John Green. And so it was Rhoda that actually was the first believer among the saints. And she's the one that took the book and circulated through all the different farming families around. Wait, she was young. Was she was Rhoda a young, young. She was a young, uh, maiden name Young. Maiden name Young, yeah, married to Green. Yeah, so Rhoda Green, knee Young, yeah. was married to John Green. And, and the Greens had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven children on their farm who all joined the church as well. <coughs> their families, you know. So again, much like the Youngs, the Greens were kind of a, an anchor part of the family, but an extension of the Youngs, right? So it was John and Rhoda Green, and their sons Evan, Abby, Addison, Fanny, Rhoda, and John Jr., and Nancy. And then you had uh, the Lockwood family. Maybe some of you had Lockwoods in your history. Another faithful family with their eight children. The Tomlinsons, which is Nathan and Zervia Tomlinson, which we're going to go spend. They own the inn that was there, and we'll go visit their home, and we'll actually get in the home. I got a text from the Clarks who are home now, and so they're eager to receive us. I told them, get ready for a big group. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll take us for a tour, and we'll go in the actual buildings and see some of the stuff there from Nathan and Zervia and their home. Again, that was the, the more or less unofficial branch house. They had more meetings from the inn than any of the farmhouses, although they also held meetings in some of the farmhouses. You had the Stilsons. A smaller family of six. The Mortons. It is a small family. That's a really tiny family. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mortons with their family of eight. And then you had all the Youngs, which is a ton of Youngs. Uh, William, Joseph, Persis, Lorenzo, um, Brigham, Phineas. If I've missed any of these guys. John, of course. Another Joseph, because the one died and they renamed the next one Joseph to replace him. Back then you just replace your children. Yeah. <laughs> we, we have twins so we can have a replacement in place. Oh, we could have spares. You had the Morton so, family and so the Plummerfeld family. Jo so I, I have never heard any of the history of Brigham's parents, John and I don't know his mother's name. Mm -hmm. um, but, they, but they might, I mean, they were baptized and migrated and did the whole saint stuff. Yeah, I don't know how long they live because I don't hear about them on the migration either so I'm not yeah. sure they did I, I do know that they all left this area and went to Kirtland but I'm not sure what happened with John whether he ever left Kirtland he may have died there Got it. but I, I do know that he was alive here he did join the church here and, and he they did he did leave all this and migrate they did migrate to Kirtland at least I don't think he ever made it to the valley to yeah, Utah yeah. but somewhere between Kirtland and Nauvoo I think uh, he probably perished what a deal yeah wow. I'm gonna have to read more about it you're inspiring me just by <laughs> you being here interested I gotta get back to it Okay, so we have a couple of stops we want to still do. The fact that the Clarks are back and ready for us, I think what we'll do is we'll go back to the Tomlinson Inn then and do that piece. The cemetery I want to take you to in the Kimball Farm is right around the corner from that inn, but we have to go right past it. So why don't we stop at the inn and do the inn tour, and then we'll go to the Tomlinson Cemetery and the Kimball Farm, if that's all right. Yep. Do we leave our cars at the inn, or do we, is it walking? I think we'll, no, I don't think we can walk it with the busy roads, so I think...